everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we're gonna be using the Tom Ford Smoky Quartz. This is the new formula from Tom Ford. This is what it looks like. I will swatch it for you. I did swatch it in the video I did with the Rose Topaz. And it looks to me to be either all mattes or maybe there's a, a satin in here. Because of the formula, the formula is very different. Um, and I don't know details yet because technically this hasn't been released. This is probably going up on Patreon first um, and then we'll go up on my channel. But it just says Eye Color Quad Prem. C-R-E with a little, uh, I forget what it's called, umlaut, not umlaut, that's not the same thing, <laughs> um, with a little accent on the E. So the formula is very creamy. When you put your finger in it, it feels almost like a cream, but it is powder, uh, but it goes on beautifully. If it's anything like the Rose Topaz, it goes on your eye, just, it's stunning. Um, and I think it will, will, it will work well for everyone, but I think it'll work especially well for those of us who are a little bit older, like myself. Um, so those are the shades. As you can see, they look kind of matte, I think. They're mattes, um, but because they're like this cream formula, it's a little bit different. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and it's gonna be a short video. We're gonna put them on the eye. I also have the new Gucci lipstick. This, this is in uh, Marina Scarlet. This is 520. This is the new packaging, the limited edition packaging with the little blue roses. I actually had Mildred Rosewood in that one as well, and I can't find it. Pretty sure I threw it away so, accidentally. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and try it out on the eye. If you're interested in what else is on my face, it is all in the description box, but I will tell you, it is the Chanel Number no. 1 foundation, which is it's a tough call, but probably my, found, my favorite foundation right now. Uh, it's a very diffusing, very comfortable, very skin-like, great for, in my opinion, more mature skin. Uh, it's a light finish. It's, it's just beautiful. I just think it's stunning. I'm, like seriously, it's fast becoming my favorite. Um, okay, so we're gonna take, like I said, these all seem like matte, so you're gonna kinda get a matte look out of this. Although I think you could definitely um, use like a, a one of the shades from another Tom Ford quad or from any other quad or any other palette and like do some kind of sparkle. But I think the point of this is to keep it, I think the look is supposed to be kind of this matte look, which I like. Um, the, it's very pigmented, guys. Um, unlike, and I've mentioned this in my other video, the Rose Depeche quad this formula this new cream formula is incredibly pigmented if you like these shades and these are warmer um i would call this a neutral palette but it definitely you know it's warm it's warm in shade um but these are probably if they are quote matte the creamiest mattes i've used maybe ever uh but viseart's close uh Sydney Grace would be another comparison. These are excellent. They're not at all powdery. They, you know, you put them on the brush and they stay on the brush. You don't get a lot of kick up. At least I'm not getting any kick up. Um, they go on beautifully. The Rose Topaz is gorgeous. If you like something that has a little bit more, you know, sparkle to it, um, or uh, whatever you wanna say, shine to it, I would go with the Rose Topaz over these two just because um, this one is, you know, more of this like matte like finish, but I'll tell you, they're both, they're, they're both stunning. I just so impressed with this formula. It doesn't completely negate the fact that, you know, Tom Ford has been coming out with odd things lately. It doesn't completely negate the Belle Depeche, but it goes a long way to making up for it. Uh, I'm gonna take this shade here. Um, yeah, it's really good two shades really just goes on so easily it's like a cream that's it's exactly what it's like take the lightest shade put it on the lid I hope he does more of these there is one that I don't have yet which is the uh, tiger it could be tiger eye I'll be honest with you I'm not sure of the name so I might have it wrong but I think tiger eye 
something like that. I know it has tiger in it and I will definitely be buying it because if it's like this formula, if it's this formula, it's going to be worth it because these, they blend so well. It's, it's like magic. Like it just, everything blends perfectly and I don't notice any of the texture on my eyes. The only thing I would say is that the ones that I have, the Rose Topaz and this one, they are what you would call basic shades. There's no blue, there's no green, there's no pink, there's no yellow. They are, this is a warm neutral and the other one is a cool neutral. So that's the only thing I'd say um, that could be considered a negative. Um, for me, it's not a negative because these are the shades that I wear most often. So. I would take the deepest shade, put it out here on the edge, and I'm not gonna even run this in the crease. I'm just gonna put it here on the, like the V. All right, I'm gonna clean up the under eye a little bit. It wasn't because there was any fallout. It was because um, I tend to sort of like blow out the look a little bit uh, to the edges, which is what I want, but then it goes a little too far sometimes, and so I have to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna take the deepest shade and put it as liner underneath. And I'm gonna just put it like, keep it on the outer edge, this deeper color. And then I'm gonna go in with the lighter color uh, closer to the inner corner. I'm kind of pulling this out like a wing a little bit, a mini wing, but a wing. Cat eye or a strong line, but I'm doing it, or a strong liner, but I'm doing it with powder. And the reason that that works for me and actually works for, for many people who are older is because powder is more forgiving. The line is softer and not as harsh. And frankly, it tends to look better. Again, on, in my opinion, if you like you know a heavy liquid liner and you can do the cat eye thing and you love it, more power to you. Um, but on me, when I try to do that, it just tends to look harsh because when you draw a very crisp, sharp line on older skin that isn't as taut, it looks kind of bumpy. Um, can you do it? Yeah. And in fact, I know some people who are much older than me that have much better skills than I do and frankly, skin <laughs> than I do, where they do it with a liner, it looks great, it looks fantastic. It's just on my eyes, with my skin, with my skill, um, I can do them. It just, it never, it just, I don't like the way it looks. I always think it looks harsh. So what I had to do, what I tend to do is I take a very small brush. Um, this is a refer three brush and I just did that line with it. And then I go back in and I just even soften it up even more. So what I end up getting is more of a smoky eye than, you know, a cat eye or, um, whatever whatever you want to call it. Um, it just ends up looking a little bit more smoky or like rock and rolly or whatever you want to call it, but it's not, it's not really, it's not a sharp line. I need to find out what works for you and your skin and your eyes and the shape and all that good stuff because it really does make a difference depending on, you know, what you're working with. Um, I, you know, if you've hooded eyes, you want to do a little bit different technique than if you have deep set eyes, etc., etc. All right, so I'm just blending out the crease a little bit. Now I went in for a much you know, more dramatic look because I wanna show you what this is capable of doing, but you can absolutely just use this as like, you could use like one or two shades in here, especially, um, let me show you this shade, especially this shade here, which is very light. Um, it looks like almost just like a camel shade. It's, you know, it's not particularly deep. Um, this one is deep. The, the brown, that's what I used for the smokiness around the eye or the liner, depending on how you want to use it. Um, and then the other shades, you know, you can, you can blend out, but I think this has a lot of depth to it. I think you can do a lot with it. You can do even more intense looks than I did today. Um, but I also think you can make it very, very simple and, you know, use it for what I would consider a work for me, a work appropriate look. Um, but I think it looks really nice on the eye. I'm gonna put on some mascara. 
and then we'll finish with a lip. Okay, back with mascara. So I'm actually trying out a new mascara. This is the E Saint Laurent. It's, it's a big, big mascara, and I don't remember the name of it, but I'll put it down below. I just wanna tell you guys, this is a really good mascara. Um, this is a very large wand. It's like the uh, Upswing mascara, which I like, but the Upswing has like a barbell, and this is a pointed tip, but the results are impressive. The mascara is extremely good. I know this is not about mascara, uh, but, and the lipstick I have on is the Gucci one. This is the Marina Scarlet. It's very orange. I have it mixed with the Sisley Brown liner and it, it tones it down, but it's a very orange lipstick. I actually like it, but just so you guys know. Here is the quad, the Tom Ford quad. Isn't it beautiful? It creates a stunning look. I really love it. And although it's, you know, an all matte look, it's not dry at all. It's incredibly creamy. It reminds me a little bit of what Makeup by Mary I was trying to do is mattes. Like, you know, and Viseart has this as well. And Viseart does have good mattes, don't get me wrong. Um, but this is the creamiest, most easy to blend formula. It's gorgeous on the eye. I, I love, I love this. I, I just think it's really stunning and yeah, I mean, I could make it a little more dramatic like this one is. I could make it even more dramatic if I wanted to, or I could use it very like lightly and use it for what I would consider an everyday look. This to me is a little bit more than I would normally wear to work, but um, yeah, I think it's gorgeous. I love the formula, love the shades. As I said, the Rose Topaz is what I would consider a cool neutral, but it has sparkle to it. This one is matte and it's a warm neutral. And the Tiger one I don't have yet, so I can't comment on it, but I'm definitely going to buy it. And any new ones he comes out with, with this formula, I hope he comes out with different shades, like greens and blues and yellows and all of that. Because if they're all like this formula, I will, it will be back to where I was you know, 10 years ago when I loved the Tom Ford quads and couldn't wait for a new one to come out. Instead of where I was when I tried the Belle Depeche, which was dispirited to say the least. This is phenomenally good. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.